guys welcome back to my channel um so i just kind of wanted to give you guys a like update slash i think i might do a little bit of a haul in this video since i haven't been you're not supposed to be in here excuse me <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a quick update and um kind of a little bit of a haul we've gotten a few things or few totes worth of things that um, is for Finley. So first I'm going to start out with a little bit of an update. I don't think I have did an, like, an update for if I did one it's been a long long time. So I am way overdue. I am currently 18 weeks and 3 days pregnant. And, um, I'm also going to give you guys, like, a little belly shot and whatnot, but, um, so far, in the second trimester, it's been, it's been treating me pretty well. I've, like, the only real symptom that I have been having are headaches and just, like, pure exhaustion. Like, I don't have any energy to anything. Um, but other than that... I mean, the second trimester has been pretty easy going for me, but, <laughs> I mean, that is nothing to say for the first trimester. Like, I know that there are women that have it way, way worse than me, just for the pure fact that I've never thrown up with this pregnancy. And um, during my first trimester, it was just, um, like, nausea. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. Nausea and, like, my boobs have been really sore and they still are really sore. But other than that, like, the nausea was just annoying. Are you coming in to say hi? Say hi! <laughs> um... Um, excuse you. Get your tail out of the way. <laughs> um, but wh what was I talking about? Was I talking about my nausea? Okay, well, anyway, I'll just talk to you guys about that. Um, that was just, I mean, there's like a few days here and there where it would just be just like annoying. It, it was just there like it was I don't know how to explain it like it's kind of like that feeling like if you if you've never been pregnant um it's like that feeling to where you think you're starting to get like the stomach bug or something and it's just like there and it's annoying and it's I could I was still able to go out and do things but it just made things less fun but I haven't had any checkups since I last updated you guys and my last doctor's appointment was January 3rd, I believe, and that was just purely a checkup, and we got to hear Finley's heartbeat for the very first time. Um, we only, I, my, um, regular OB was down in labor and delivery when I, um, before I come to my appointment, so I got on a call the morning of my, the morning the day that I had my appointment, if that makes sense. My appointment was at, I think, like, 10.15. It was either 10.15 or 10.45, because that's how they usually schedule out my appointments. And they called me at, like, 9.30, and I was, st <laughs> I was still sleeping, because the drive to my hospital is literally, like, maybe a 10-minute drive. So, yeah, they called me. I didn't answer because I was sleeping, but she left a voicemail, and she said that, my OB was in labor and delivery. You can either reschedule or you can still come in today, keep your same appointment, but see a different OB. And I just didn't really want to deal with, like, waiting or, like, rescheduling or whatever. So I was like, okay, I don't really care. I guess I'll just see another OB just because it's purely a checkup. So I went there and they just scheduled me with a different OB and it's funny his name is Dr. OB 
OBGYN. Haha, <laughs> do you get it? Um, but he was great. He was nice. But I don't think he realized that this was the first time that we were going to hear Finley's heartbeat. Um, just for the fact that, like, when he put the Doppler on my stomach, he, he literally had it on there. Found the heartbeat, like, literally right away. And then had it on there for no kidding, no longer than five seconds. And then, like, took it off, like, before I could even ask him if I could, like, record it or anything. And, um... So that was a bummer, but it was like really exciting to hear his heartbeat since we haven't. And so that appointment was when I was 14 weeks along and now my next appointment is February 6th. So next Tuesday, I believe. Today is Wednesday. And um, we are going in for our anatomy scan, which we are so, so, so excited because we go from seeing this ultrasound and then going to seeing a ultrasound that looks like a human baby rather than a gummy bear. <laughs> and like, it makes me kind of like sad that it's, we haven't seen him since I was six weeks pregnant. And now when I go to the appointment, I'll be like 19 weeks and two days. But I mean, it'll, it'll be like fun just to see like, you know, compare the two different ultrasounds. But once I go to that appointment, I will definitely give you guys another short little update. I won't like update you guys on symptoms and stuff just because I already have. And during, I, I, I wasn't planning on doing any like, weekly or just like just updates in general just because me personally there hasn't been many changes like going from like just in the first trimester it would it was just like all the same symptoms all the time and then now going into the second trimester I I mean it's all the same so I mean I'm not I think I did a update for first trimester so if anything, I'll just have three update video for videos for you guys, and um, that I'll just have to do, I guess, because I don't really see a point in doing weekly updates when there won't be anything to talk about. But, um, yeah, so that is pretty exciting. I will show you guys my belly, too. I'll also insert um, some pictures, like, at the end of um, just, like, a few bump shots that I've taken like throughout up until now so I hope I'm not too tall for this but this is like the front of it and then this is the side I don't know if I'm in the shot or not but yeah um, so I have like definitely been growing a belly, been growing a little baby. Um, so this week, according to my apps, he is the size of, what is he? He's the size of a slingshot, which I mean, <laughs> I don't, I mean, I, I don't know, but he's the size of a slingshot or he is five and a half inches long. <laughs> and if you guys, I actually found this out, like, I don't know if this is, like, obsessive or just, like, I don't know. But he is the exact weight of an iPhone 7 Plus, if you have that. Um, like, I don't know, I just, he's the size of my iPhone 7 Plus, and he's the weight of my iPhone 7 Plus. So, my mom got me this What to Expect When You're Expecting book. And it gives you like some things in there, pretty much the same things that my apps say. But I thought it was just kind of cool. I was just kind of look like I was looking. I was originally looking at the size of my iPhone because I knew it was about that length. But um, and then when I was like looking at that, I saw the ounces, and I was like, oh, Finley is six point seven ounces, and iPhone 7 Plus. Yada yada yada. You guys get what I'm saying. 
I'm also going to do a little haul for you guys. Um, I put together, I, I don't think I'm going to take them out for you, but I will show you in these next few pictures what I have organized and what I have for him so far. So in here, I just kind of have his clothes organized from different sizes. And as you can tell, I mean, we have a pretty good selection right now, which I am super, super happy about. And then my mom and I just went to a few different secondhand stores and picked him up some books. I mean, as you can see in this box, it's pretty miscellaneous. I have crib sheets, swaddles, blankets. I got my breast pump in there, a few bibs, just stuff to put in here for now until I can find another place to put it. But other than that, I don't think I have anything else to update you guys on. I am pretty much, like I said, feeling the same that I have this whole second trimester. I'm just super, super exhausted. And like, I don't know if you could tell, but like when I'm talking for a long period of time, I just get like out of breath already. And it's just, it's, it's really annoying, honestly. On another note, we also, um, or I do, I have a notebook that I bought and I've been writing like notes in there for Finley and I was planning on giving it to him like when he turns 18 or something and then I don't know I thought it'd be something nice that he could you know go back and look through and um, Austin has written a few things in there as well and I'm just I don't know I'm just really excited to have a baby in my hands instead of in my, in my stomach but for now, everything's going good, everything's great, and I will for sure let you guys, I'll, I know I'm going to upload a video after my next appointment, so I'm hoping, so the appointment's on a Tuesday, and I'm hoping to get a video up, I'll probably record it on Wednesday. I'll either record it on Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'll upload it on Wednesday or Thursday. It just kind of depends when I record it, if that makes sense. But um, other than that, I should see you guys next week, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.